Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Machen Leira online smicha. We all know what Ramah writes in Hilchus Tefillah in Simen Tzadik Ches Sif Aleph. The Ramah writes, "Asul la'odam la'nashik bana v'ktanim v'basic nesses." It is prohibited for a person to kiss his young children in the shul, and he gives a reason for this. So you should implement, you should instill in your heart. There is no love greater than the love of the, what you have, a yid has to have to, to, towards Hashem. And that's why by uh, focusing your attention and you're giving love to somebody else, that's sort of uh, not proper. Now, some ask a very basic question. They say the mitzvah of Ava Hashem is it one of the mitzvah tmidius? It's one of the con- constant mitzvahs that you have to have everywhere and always. So why is it dafker in the base knesses that we have this iser lechayra? If you have to be bullseye focused that the Ava is only towards Hashem, maybe you shouldn't be allowed to kiss anywhere, showing any affection to anybody anywhere, because Ava is only towards the Abishter. Obviously, the halacha is not that way. And we're going to try to summarize where do we find, what are the exceptions to the rule. So, for example, I once heard a story, I read somewhere, that when a Mendel Futtafas, the great chassid, came out of Russia, he was in London and he went to Manchester, and over there he met up with his old friend, Rabbi Dubov, who was a chassid of and Rabbi Dubov, Rabbi Dubov, was in the middle of giving a shear to Talmudim, and when his friend, that Mendel Futtafas, came in, he stood up and went over, ran over them, they hugged. And the students, maybe the, the Balabatim there, were questioning at your middle of learning, uh, in the show, how you're doing it. And his response was, he is a Lebedig Sefer Torah. Now, let me explain that. Let me explain that. Obviously, when a Sefer Torah walks by in the show, when they carry by a, a Sefer Torah, people, Kiss the Sefer Torah. So there's obviously no issue with kissing a Sefer Torah in a shul. Because by kissing a Sefer Torah in a shul, you're kissing it not out of so much out of love, you're kissing it out of, out of being a holy item, being, be respect, but it's not necessarily uh, a focus of Ava. So there are types of hugs and kisses that don't take away from the fact that you're still focused in the true avas towards the Abishter. We find the Pasuk says in Parsha Shemois, it says, Vayomer Hashem el Aaron, Abishter says to Aaron, Leich lekras Moshe, Hamidbar, go greet your brother Moshe in, 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 in the desert. Vayelech, Vayifkesheu Bahar Elikim, he went, he, he found Moshe Rabbeinu Bahar Elikim, but then the Pasuk says, Vayishak and he kissed him. And the question is, it's in the first mass, the Har Kim, the holy mountain, the God's mountain, and eventually the Torah was given there. How was, some, some commentaries asked, how was he allowed to kiss him? I thought it's disrespectful, or, or it's not a place where you kiss other people. So some of the actually give this answer, that when Aaron k- kissed his brother, he didn't necessarily kiss him out of Ava, he actually kissed him, he k- kissed him out of like an honorable holy item, like a Sefer Torah. And that's a lot to be done even in the shul. Because dafka, dafka things, uh, when you hug or kiss somebody, misham, misham chiba, out of love, you're not allowed to. And the proof of that is, today's Achreinim to discuss, are you allowed to kiss a, a young child if he's crying in shul? And the only reason you're kissing him is because you want him to calm down. Is that a problem? So we find that... Uh, some place can say, since you're not showing any affection in this, it's just to calm the, ch- ch- the child down is allowed. Others talk, uh, challenge it and said, no, 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 sh- no sign of affection is allowed to be done in this show. But at least we know that we see others, others pask and different. And they say it's because, it's because it's not there out of Ava. You're not kissing the child out of Ava at that moment. It's just to calm him down. Now, the Had Ali Kim that Moshe Rabbeinu and Ara met, the Chayra has a din, it's, it has a holy place. But one thing we know for sure, it's not a Mokim HaMiyuchad L'Tfila. It's not a place that's designated for davening. 
Now let me let me let me use that as an example. This that the Shulchan Aruch says, the Ramah quotes, you're not supposed to kiss somebody in the shul, in the shul, your young children in the shul. Does it even apply in the Vayva Shul, in the Ezra Sloshim? So uh, the, the, the Taker of Rabbi Yitzchak Vais, the, the, the Av Bezin of Yerushalayim said it applies all parts of the Shul, but many other places can say no. This is something specifically in the Shul. Rabbi Moshe Feinstein has a tremendous chiddush. Rabbi Moshe Feinstein says that this halacha, this halacha, um, is not mentioned in the Hilchas Beis Knesses. The halacha of not kissing your child is mentioned in the Hilchas Tefillah, because specifically during Tefillah you're not supposed to kiss children, because during Tefillah you're supposed to be laser laser being focused on the Ava towards the Kaddish Baruch Hu. But even in a shul, not when you're davening, there is no issue. So Vichain, that, was, that was the reason why Moshe Rabbeinu, was, why Aaron was allowed to kiss uh, Moshe. A, it's a hara elikim, it's not a miyuchad litfila. So if it's not miyuchad litfila, I, it answers the, pre, the first question. The ava that, we're, that, that uh, we don't allow to be done is only in a place where it's miyuchad litfila. And over there, at that time, you have to be focused only and only towards Hashem.